Hey everybody, welcome back to Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're going to be doing pulled pork tacos al pastor. So stick around. All right, guys, we're back at the cutting board. So what we have here is a nine pound uh, bone in pork butt. We're just going to trim off some of the excess stuff that doesn't look good. Uh, and then what we're going to do is take this uh, seasoning, which is al pastor seasoning. Yeah, I'm being lazy on. I didn't make my own, but this stuff is just as good. We're going to put that in some water and, uh, and mix it until it becomes kind of soluble. And then we're going to take our injection uh, tool or needle, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to inject the heck out of this pork butt. I know that normally tacos al pastor is served off of a spit, kind of like a rotisserie spinning spit, and you shave off what pieces you want as you go along. That makes for kind of a long day. Of, of cooking and <clears throat> with me smoking this pork butt it's already going to take quite a while so that's kind of the idea is to get it all done all at the same time and when we pull the pork butt we're going to take some of that uh, some of that seasoning which we're also going to you know make it into a marinade so let's get this trimmed up and we'll get into the cook Okay, we're going to go ahead and add our al pastor seasoning to this water. And this will serve as our injection. So I've got to whisk this up. You want to make sure everything kind of dissolves because um, you don't want to have all these spices and herbs clog up your injection tool needle, whatever you want to call it. So let's get that good and incorporated. I have several of these packets, so they'll serve as my marinade also. So I'll inject and marinade. And we'll, uh, we'll start cooking in the morning. So I'm actually doing this the night before the cook. So we'll have at least 12 hours of marinade time. Because we're at a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of the way that uh, out, tacos al pastor is traditionally cooked like I was talking about earlier it's usually on the spit um, so that allows you to get a lot more flavor uh, into the internal part of the roast um, so what we're going to do is inject to try to make up for some of that flavor and we'll just go in a grid pattern we'll just go this way and then come back and cross kind of cross hatch it and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing Okay, we got that pork butt moved into a bigger pot, and uh, we're going to apply some of this <clears throat> some of this rub, uh, which is also the base of the marinade here. And um, we'll put some more water in there just to cover up the pork butt, so it's more of a wet rub than anything. So tomorrow, before we take this out and put it on the smoker, we'll apply some more rub. All right, guys, it is now the next morning. Uh, we went ahead and put the pork butt in a marinade overnight, and I pulled that out this morning and uh, went ahead and got the Kamado fired up. We're waiting for that to come up to temperature. We're gonna cook this pork butt today at about 250 degrees. We're going to uh, use cherry wood. Uh, I like that mild flavor and the color it gives. Now, keep in mind when I show you the pork butt, it's had a lot of color drained out of it because it's been in a liquid overnight in that marinade. So if you're doing this at home, don't be worried when you pull the pork butt out the next morning, it's gonna look kind of pale. It's gonna take a lot of that red color out of it. So what we're gonna do next is go ahead and apply a barbecue rub 
uh, one of my local favorite uh, barbecue companies, Count Porcula. And I think that rub's gonna pair nicely with uh, a little bit of extra of the Al Pastor seasoning that we, that we used yesterday. We're gonna pair that and Count Porcula's the rub together and, and kind of do a fusion of barbecue and Mexican flavors. So the next step is get the rub applied and I'll see you at the cutting board. All right, everybody, that's kind of what I was talking about as far as the color, just kind of makes it pale after it's sat in that marinade overnight. Okay, we got this guy all rubbed, rubbed down with Count Porcula rub, and uh, we have some Al Pastor seasoning mixed in there as well. And we're just waiting for the smoker to come up to temperature. Uh, we're gonna cook again, like I mentioned earlier, at about 250 degrees. And we're gonna go uh, fat side down since the heat source is coming from the bottom of the Kamado. Okay, smoker is up to temp and ready to get this pork butt on the grill and get to cooking. Remember, we're gonna go fat side down since the heat source is coming from the bottom. Fat side down kind of protects the meat. Uh, I can really tell that injection in the marinade did a great job because that pork butt is really juicy. So let's see how it turns out. All right, guys, I got a special guest with me today. Ben Adams with the Bearded Chef guy. Is that right? Yep. All right, so we're gonna put a link to his Instagram account down in the description box. So go ahead and check him out. He does a lot of cool stuff with tacos and quesadillas, and uh, he was recognized as Griddler of the Week from uh, from Blackstone just uh, last week, was it, Ben? Is that yeah, right? a couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. They sent him a bunch of cool swag. So uh, to our point, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take this pork butt out of here and we got some uh, Al Pastor seasoning and uh, marinade rather uh, that we mixed with some of our spritz, which is uh, consists of apple cider vinegar and Dr. Pepper and water, uh, equal parts of each. And we're just gonna put that pork butt in there and let the fat kind of drip down into the, into the tin foil. We're gonna wrap it, of course, and we'll show you all that, but we're hoping that that kind of makes a good Al Pastor sauce and that it kind of thickens it up a little bit. So stick around. Wait for us to go away. Sam? Yeah, you Oh, yeah. Where is it, Justin? He's hiding under the. Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the bearded chef guy is about to shred the pork butt. We got some sauce made up that we're going to put that in, combine it with what's in the, uh, in the pan here, which should be pretty rendered down by now. So we've got some sauce already in there. Uh, the pork butt is at 195 and it's got a good bark. We're gonna get this pulled apart and come back with some tacos. Look at the bearded chef guy go. He's killing it. That's the Blackstone Griddler of the week, folks. You mean to tell me I could pick? We're just getting the griddle guy, Ben, doing his thing. Look at him go, folks. That's a man of determination. So it's really turning out nice. We got the pulled pork going on the griddle. It's been soaking in that Al Pastor sauce. We got some corn tortillas that are being flipped around. They've been soaked. They've been baptized. That's right. What kind of rub we're using there? TD's Brew and Barbecue, Zesty Taco. Zesty Taco.
All right, guys, thanks for stopping by once again. We wrapped up our cook today. Turned out awesome. The tortillas were a winner. We went ahead and dipped those in the uh, in the uh, Al Pastor seasoning marinade. And then uh, bearded chef guy over here threw them on the griddle, and they were phenomenal. Yeah, I think doing that and putting the oil down, letting them crisp up, sprinkling some of that uh, zesty taco from TD's Brew and Barbecue on there adds another flavor uh, layer on those tacos. Absolutely. We got a big crowd here today and we're feeding a bunch of people so we're going to cut this one uh cut this kind of short on you. But uh thanks for stopping by Cask and Q where whiskey and barbecue meet and uh be sure and go visit uh Ben's wet uh Ben's Instagram. Ben, you want to give a shout out for your Instagram? It's, uh, at bearded chef guy. At bearded chef guy. So you heard it here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to his Instagram page down in the description box below. Be sure and go there and uh and give them a shout out. We had a great time cooking together today and it was a good collaboration and uh, we'll be back and see you soon.